Hello folks. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a photo slideshow on your Mac in minutes with my favorite photo slideshow software. Using slideshow builder software, anyone at home can create a professional looking movie in no time. Let's show you how to do that right now. What we will do first is click the link in the description box below to visit the website slideshowcreator.net. Click the Mac download button to begin. Once downloaded, follow the instructions to install it. Here is the software. The first thing you want to do is sign up for a free Fantashow account if you haven't already done so by clicking on the F sign up icon here in the top right corner. Fill in your sign up info and click sign up. Now let's get started. Creating your own photo slideshow is as easy as three steps. Step one is to select a theme for your video slideshow. Fantashow comes with over 200 video styles to choose from. The categories menu here on the left pane breaks out the various themes by category, making it simple for you to choose just the right look for your video slideshow. Previewing the look of the theme is as simple as just hovering your mouse over the theme's thumbnail image to get an idea of its look and feel. Now click on the thumbnail image to get a bigger picture. Won't you be my, won't when you, you be are satisfied my, with the theme of your you choice, my, click the Apply button here in the top right to apply it to your video slideshow. Fantashow now takes you to the next step. Here in step two is where you create the slideshow. You can add images and movies to your slideshow by selecting the Images or Movies tab here at the top. Now browse to the folder where your images are located and then simply drag the photos you wish to use to the timeline. Adding a movie is just as simple as selecting the Movies tab at the top, locate the movie you wish to include in the slideshow, and then drag and drop. On the bottom of each slide is where you can place descriptive text to add to each slide if needed. Simply hover over the text in question and click on the pencil icon to open the text editing window. Change the slide text as desired and click the OK button when done. You can also have the option to customize the media by hovering your mouse over the photo or video you wish to edit and click the edit button here at the bottom right of the thumbnail image. If you're editing photos, you have the option of cropping the image, rotating the image, adding a stylized effect to the image, and changing the on-screen duration time of the image. When you're done customizing the photos, click the OK button. Editing movies, you have the extra option of trimming the beginning or ending of the clip. As with the photo customization options, you can also rotate the video, crop the video and add a custom filter to the video. As before, once you're done customizing your movies, click the OK button to move on. Now let's add an intro to your video slideshow by clicking the Add Intro button here to the right of the video timeline. Now you can select the intro of your choice and click the OK button. As before, you can modify the text on the intro simply by clicking the pencil icon next to the text on the intro slide. Make your changes and press the OK button. 
If you want to change the order in which the slides appear in your slideshow, simply click on the slide you wish to move, then grab the slide with your mouse and move it to the new location. Here we will move the intro slide to the beginning of the slideshow. You can preview any of your changes at any time simply by clicking the play button in the preview window. Won't you be my, won't you be my, won't you be my valentine? Because I adore you, I'd give anything for you, you make me smile, smile. And lastly, you can choose to use the default music or select your own custom music by clicking on the audio tab at the top, selecting your music, and then drag it down to the bottom of the timeline. When you've got your slideshow to perfection, it's time to move on to the final step, step three, and export your video by clicking on the export button here in the lower right corner of the preview window. Here you can export your movie five different ways. You can share the movie with your friends via email or upload the video to your Facebook or YouTube channel. You can also save the movie to your local hard drive, create a mobile friendly version of your video slideshow or burn it to DVD. Once you have decided on which version you wish to export your movie to, fill in the details and then click the create button. So that's it. If you want to create a beautiful photo slideshow on your Mac, you can do so in minutes by using the best slideshow creator on the net. Just click the link in the description box below to visit slideshowcreator.net to get started. Good luck.